Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at some newly released footage and discussing what kind of features and games we can expect to see in CMU 1.11.5. So straight off the bat, the footage you are watching right now is CMU 1.11.5 running Fast Racing Neo, a game that previously worked but had massive, massive audio issues and was basically unplayable due to these. CMU's lead developer Exap has basically told us that CMU 1.11.5 is going to be a bug fixing release and is going to fix issues in several games, especially in relation to audio. Now off the top of my head, two games that I would absolutely love to see fixed in 1.11.5, at least audio wise, are Bayonetta 2 and Pokken Tournament as I do regularly play both of these games on CMU emulator. Some of these audio bugs, if you were not aware, can be fixed by using CMU's experimental option RDTSC, but audio issues are still present regardless of using this feature or not. We have also been potentially promised some input related fixes, however no games have been detailed and nothing has been specified as of yet. In a similar fashion to the way we've been shown this fast racing Neo footage, we have also been shown the girl and the robot footage as you can see on screen right now. This puzzle platformer is another Wii U title which has suffered with massive issues in the past and even though it is not a Wii U exclusive title, also being available on PC and the PlayStation 4 platforms, it is still good to see games like this being worked on compatibility wise due to the fact that fixes that are implemented for games like these may help with other games in the future. Ok, so before we finish up this small news roundup about CMU 1.11.5, let's answer a question that I know a lot of you will be asking. User FS00 asked Exap, will there be multi-core recompiler fixes in CMU 1.11.5? His response was this, none noteworthy. It will take a year or maybe longer to fix all multi-threaded bugs. It is not something that we as the users will observe a massive improvement with in a single release, but rather it will happen in small incremental steps and stages. So there we go guys, the latest and greatest most up to date news on CMU emulator. Hopefully closer to its release date we will get more details about this new release. Once again I'm going to close this video out with another massive thank you to all of the new BSOD gaming patrons. To sign up, get your name featured on this list and help the channel grow, you can visit the BSOD gaming patreon link down in the video description. So as always guys, cheers for checking out the video. Remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.